All right, guys, this is part two of the STX 310LX fuel pump that uh, for my baby. Um, my, my original design, because we spoke about the pumps are, are not the right length. My original design, I was going to cut that off and put that through. I got that through to work and there just wasn't a much holding it. I decided to change plans, get another one of these and use my Dremel here to take out the bottom and just elongate it, not elongate it, uh, hone it out basically, until the fuel pump went all the way through. That gave me a lot to hold onto the fuel pump. As it turns out, it's worked out really well. I'll show you later in this video. Um, and it holds it very good. Now, to make it fit, I had to cut off that. I had to cut off these two little pieces which go there, that one, and that one. So the when and to make the seal work, that is a Kjectronic fuel injector o-ring. It fitted perfectly over the end here. Oops, it's nice and tight, which is great. And when pushed in, it was a fantastic seal in here. So that worked perfectly. With that cut off, I was able to utilize the factory wiring straight onto those terminals. With the honed out complete housing, then slipped over and it all clipped into place very, very well. I utilized a, a, a flat filter rather than the uh, tiny little filter that comes with the factory pump. I was never going to use that. That's rubbish. The end result is a pump that's going to go in perfectly. I put a zip tie on it. I truly I don't need it, but it, it's held in there so tight you couldn't pull it out, but I had the hole, I figured it's not going to hurt it. That is a pump that is going to work and uh, we'll be going into my ski. There is another final test we have to do because uh, we need to know the length of the fuel pump. So if I put tape measure down into the tank, straight down where the fuel pump is going to go, just using my finger on the side here where the seal would be. That's bringing it out. Well, oh, geez, I just moved. It's roughly about 360 mil, 359 mil. I've checked that a couple of times and the measurements come up the same. Now, if I walk back to the fuel pump that we have made, and the bottom of the seal, we are looking at about. 355, 58 mil as well. So that's going to fit in perfect. And uh, I've got my own deep fuel pickup.